Okay guys, now in today's video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to guarantee passing into safety. Now, I've deliberately given my opponent here a goal during a pivotal match of playoffs. Now, when you are losing a game, what happens is you end up doing this. Driven pass is spam forward, it works one time, then you try to do it after and it doesn't work. That's the first thing. The second thing is these, these no-look passes. When you make a pass, you have to face the play. You can't go like this and then make a pass. The angle of failure will be very big. You might see me talk about this in my Patreon series, patreon.com forward slash nil guys. Link is down below in the description. But you have to basically face a player. If you cannot make the pass, then you don't make the pass. It's as simple as that. So if you can't make the pass safely, then don't pass to them. Try to make a pass there. And that is the logic behind passing. It's the most simplest thing. What happens is when we get angry at the game, we don't realize what we're doing. Especially, for example, if you go to a 4-4-2 or a very pressing state, what happens is, is that your the logic of the game, it changes in your head. So let's say, for example, you're losing and you're like, okay, you know what, I need to defend this situation. Then you start being aggressive with your defending. But let's just say here, I end up conceding 2-0. Let's just say, for example, right? Now I'm in a game, now it's 2-0. You're going to start becoming even more aggressive and you're going to start worrying even more. So what you're going to do, is take a break, take a deep breath with kickoff starts and start playing it slow. One, twos backwards like this. Play it slow. If there's no space in front of you, just don't make the pass. Like you see here, I use my left at dribble. And I'm basically maneuvering into the space. I'm not panicking. There's space in front of me, so I run into it. Okay, there's a pass going forward there. I see a player making a run. Try taking a shot and I get a goal. You see? It's just by being mainly being patient. I was never really aggressive. I didn't make a forceful pass. I made a pass only when there is an actual position to pass to. You see, if there's never a clear opportunity, don't force. That's what leads to counterattacks. People say, oh, look, I get counterattacks so easily. I lose the ball during build-up. But the truth is, it's because you're not playing a safe pass. We know how to use L1 triggers. If you've not watched my videos before, make sure you watch the video on L1 triggers. I explain to you how a simple L1 trigger can be used to create space. So like here, an L1 trigger like that down the wing. That means I can create space and then I can play a through ball after. Okay, same thing here, L1 trigger, I create space and I do a driven through ball down the wing. L1 trigger to get my players inside the box, see that, so they push a bit forward a little bit, a little bit of waiting there, lofted pass, unfortunately the touch was a bit too much astray, got a bit lucky here, too lucky to be honest, should have got the ball back there, and I ended up missing. So you see the most, and even I'll be honest myself, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't get frustrated with the game because the game does frustrate me as well. You know, I don't, it's only when I'm, for example, if I'm, if I have to play serious, then I, I don't get frustrated. But if I'm playing very casually, I'll be honest, the truth is I get very frustrated with the game, especially because the way that I play, I know exactly what buttons I'm pressing. Um, I, I, I mean this with, uh, of course, with respect to a lot of people, a lot of people, they don't understand what's wrong with the game, but I do. So I know what to do to avoid it. And sometimes... The game does these ridiculous animations that even I can't even say. I'm just like, what the hell's going on? Again, same thing, building up. We're not going to do a driven pass straight to the striker. We're just not going to panic. We're going to build up slowly. We see space. Okay, we made unlucky. What's the, what's the mistake we made there? There was no one to pass to. You see that? No one to pass to. I can't believe Edison spilled that. But you see that? How I made the mistake? I was still looking to go forward there. That was the wrong thing to do. What I should have done is should have gone backwards. There was no need for me to go forward there. Yes, I can understand I lose that counter-attack, which is what I was trying to do. But you see, you put me in a situation where I could have could, could have conceded had it not been my defending. And that situation you would find yourself in. Maybe players like myself were just a little bit better at recovering. And that is the only reason why we get away with it. But the truth is, at the end of the day, if you're making those mistakes... That's what's going to cost you. Now, don't forget, I'm using a 4-4-2, a very pressing tactic. That means my players are going to be naturally going forward very quickly. That's nothing I want to talk about. If you are, let's say, if you are playing a tactic that's like fast build-up play, it's going to force you to play faster. So even if you've got fast build-up play, you're going to have to slow the game down. Because you see with fast build-up play, I've got no one essentially to pass the ball to. You see that? And you see my opponent is trying to teammate contain me on either side. Let me show you a lofted pass here one way go the other way and that should be a goal that's a terrible finish but you see with fast put up play you see how aggressive my players are just running forward and that's not giving me a chance to basically even pass the ball you see that that pass made by my opponent um he ended up just doing a no look pass the same way i lost the ball there i think that's offside isn't it it is so you see these are all things you've got to remember so and i'll show you at half time 
And I just want to have, just want to show you a look. This is why I actually put slow build up play on my four two three one. It wasn't because I want people to play slow. It's because the players actually move quite fast. It's just to give you a bit more thinking time. A little slight tackle here. Well, that was a bad animation. Don't tell me that's a red card. Oh, you're joking. You're absolutely joking. I know he did a skill move there, but that should not be a red card. The, the slight tackle animation was incorrect. Okay, but now we're down to 10 men. That's fine. We're not going to panic now. Again, we're going to keep our composure. You deal with that. We're not going to panic. Ball's going on a play. Our players just gave up there. It's fine. We're not going to panic here. He's still got time to come back. Now, what a smart... Now, because this guy is somewhat decent, okay? He does skill moves. He knows what he's doing. He's teammate, teammate containing me, teammate pressing me. Yeah, he actually knows somewhat what he's doing. We're just going to be a bit more careful now. So we're not going to be overly aggressive because... Okay. He knows even how to... Do those corner glitches, so we're not going to panic. We're just going to play the same way. Now we're going to change to a tactic. Oops, wasn't paying attention there. Again, not going to panic. Pass forward. With one, two. Wait for Son to make the overlap. Wait for Corona. Okay, we scored that goal. Bad defending from my opponent. We should have probably not got away with it. So you can see that you see my team. I'm just going to defend kickoff here. Okay, my player decided to shut off. That's a bit weird. I don't know why he just decided to stop moving there. Again, L1 trigger if we need. And if you're ever in trouble, remember, you can just switch the ball. Now, as you can see, I triggered Carl Walker there by mistake. So I'm not going to risk going forward here. If I am going to make a pass, as you can see, I face forward. That's the last minute of the game. So now I don't mind triggering players going forward. Even if I trigger my center back here, it's, risk it's risky. But if I lose the ball here, the game's going to end anyway. Son. Okay. For some reason he didn't take the shot. Maybe that's the only the only slight negative with of course Son is he doesn't have the best um, agility and balance. Like I wish he did. He would be absolute uh beast of a player. Oh, didn't get that. So you see now it's um half time. Now we have one red card, so we've got to remember that at the end of the day, this ended up becoming a comeback tutorial. Um, but you see, the most important thing is the persistence. You know, I'm keeping it, keeping it tight. Now, you see I'm playing a 4-4-2. Um, with my 4-4-2, my instructions is long ball on forward runs. That means people are going to be making runs in behind first. So what we're going to do is we're going to change to the 4-2-3-1 with slow build-up play to be a bit more slower. Now, the question is, who really comes off here? I might take Keen off here. I'm going to go ahead and put Lorente on because I know he's a tank. And the way we're going to do this, we're going to put Sun like this. And we're basically going to create a 4-2-3. Um, because we don't want the striker to be on the wing. Because I still think that area is important. In fact, you don't want to put it, get rid of the cam position either. So you basically want to find a position which is in, not that important. So either one of the attackers is fine. You obviously don't want to put him where... But you see, I'm I'm not losing. If I was losing, it would be a different situation. I might, you know, get rid of a CDM or something. Um, but definitely don't get rid of your back four because that's probably going to cost you. And do excuse me if you do hear drilling in the background. Um, my neighbours are currently doing some work on their property. So uh, do bear with that in mind. Okay, so again, we're just not panicking see we can't find the space going forward now if we do there's no look past we make sure that there's no one next to us l1 trigger to push that player forward into that space okay not the best of passes not gonna panic here we get the ball back not gonna i am apply a bit of pressure here just because from experience i know i can get away with it that's a kimi back to the goalkeeper Okay. Um, it's just one of those things. Uh, that is such a bad glitch. You know how many times this happened to me? It's it's so weird because they don't header it towards the goalkeeper. They, they header it towards like the corner side of the goal. It makes no sense, but yeah, they do. Okay, so it's now coming to a 10-man tutorial. Okay, okay. we're going to still play slow. We're not going to panic. We're going to wait for a chance. We see that player there. 
One, two. Okay, that wasn't the best of one, twos. We weren't facing a player, as understandable. Tried to switch to our CDM here, but the game's not allowing it, and now we're in trouble. Goalkeeper should get that, though. There we go. One, two. Now, again, we got no striker here. So, one, two, you can use L1 trigger to bring that player forward. I don't like this. Um, oops. There. Ended up getting a the ball there. Defend against this. Fortunately, it was the wrong player that even switched there. So, again, we're not going to panic. We still have time. We're going to make sure he's gone to a 4 2 3 1. We gotta be safe. L1 triggers if we need to, remember. L1 trigger there. And we soon moved into the space there. So we're not panicking. He is applying pressure. Oh, that was not who we wanted to pass. I don't even know. That player made that run too quickly. Okay, we got the ball went with Saka. Got the ball. Okay, that's a very unfortunate situation. But these are the things you have to deal with. Just deal with the BS. Don't let it frustrate you. We'll have to change to a 4-4-2 eventually, I think. Just because if he holds the ball. Ah, oh, Walker, come on. You should have got that. should have got that, my friend. He's going to be looking to do the corner glitch, so that's why I brought the goalkeeper out. I just don't want to take a risk with my players being so short, because that corner glitch is basically undefendable. And no, I'm not going to teach people the corner glitch. If you want to, you can learn it from someone else, but I'm not going to teach you on my channel. The L1 triggers here, so the players make runs behind. And you see that? How important the L1 triggers were in that situation? If I never did an L1 trigger, someone would have got there in time. In fact, I'll show you that at the end. The L1 trigger was imperative. I would never have never scored that goal if it wasn't for the L1 trigger. And I'll explain to you why at the end of the match. Again, we're not going to panic. We're just going to make sure we're facing a player and we're making a pass. If we are going to make a risky pass, I don't mind making it in the final third. Because that's this is the fair kickoff first. Best situation where I don't mind taking a risk. Now you can see he's being, he's being smart. He knows that I got uh, a red card. So he's being very smart. He knows that I don't... I can't, oh, that was a really bad pass that was. He knows that I can't really commit the players going forward. So he's also becoming even more forward. Now I see my, my right cam on the radar. You see that? I can see that he's onside. I can see that. So I'm just looking. I'm getting pressed this. I've got nowhere to go. You see, I'm not going to force the pass until I wiggle my way out of the situation. You see that? Now I get the ball. Wiggle my way. Can I make the pass? No. But that 1-2 has now given me space. Now I can bring the ball going forward. I see a driven past the sun. I see loads of space. Quick 1-2. Not going to panic here. Playing safe now. If I lose the ball now, it's GG's. Because why? It's because I'm losing the ball in midfield. So if I'm not sure, I just take a touch away. You see that? I'm only guaranteeing that. So that way the game can't screw me over. You see that? That one trigger there. We got Because we got no striker, we got no one that line. So what we're, what we're doing basically is we see Sun is basically playing like a striker. Kind of, right? So what we're doing is with Sun. Do a quick bounce back here. One, two. Nice. That was a terrible ball. Okay. Tried it there. Okay, Mane. Not the best. No, no, we're not going to run out here. We're just going to hold our line, apply a bit of pressure, keep our defensive line in shape, and we get the ball there. See that? How we never run out? Oh my god, what is wrong with the delay this game? Oh my god, what is that? See those animations? Those are just things part of the game. Bit of delay here. We just got to deal with it. We're going to use our left back now. We don't want to concede now. That would be the wrong thing to do. That should be a perfect slide tackle, and that should be a perfect one again. If not, Perfect, we've got the line anyway. We've got the line anyway, we've got the line. We don't have to panic. There we go, defended that perfectly. Side tackle would have been perfect, but he took a touch away. That was very good from my opponent. Oh, Sun didn't make that run there. Oh my god, Walker decided to let it go. Again, we're not moving up space, we're going to do a quick one too. When, how do you make the ball go safely down the wing? I think that's offside there, so I'm going to let it go. Is it off? I don't know. Referee's not blowing the, referee's not, the flag up. Okay, he didn't put the flag up. See, I did a super cancel there just to make sure. Now it's 88 minutes. Now what we're going to do, we're going to play for the final attack. As I said, humans, they believe in 90-minute goals, okay? I don't want you to be a human. 
I want you to be. Oh my god. I want you to be a robot. So, I'm hoping he believes in 90 minute goals and he panics. That's what I want him to do. Let's see. Is he gonna panic? Is he gonna panic? Not the pass that I wanted. Uh, so when we go to extra time with 10 men, we still got time. We are we can make subs if we need to. Um, Sun is losing energy. What we might do is put him over there. Maybe I don't really like him to be honest. He's not really my cup of tea. What I might do is I might put Kappa on. I'll put Cornet in center. Defensive CDM yeah, and what I'm going to do is going to prepare for this situation by taking off. Now what I like to press. I like to press as a unit, so I'd rather for, for, forgo a striker and play in a 4-4-1-1 as opposed to playing in, for example, a 4-4-2 or like a 4-3, I suppose you can say 4-3-2, the lack of the centre mid. I prefer to prefer in a, in a unit. Okay, so extra time we go, not going to panic. You know, we know he's full of tricks, we don't have to, we're not going to panic. As I said to you. The 90 minute goal, see I don't believe in it, but even if you do believe in it, you could just hold the ball and that's it, you resolve the issue. So everyone keeps going to me, okay, it exists. Okay, if you do believe it exists, then that's fine by me. If you want to believe it exists, okay, fine. But then deal with it. Don't cry you lose 90 minute goals, just deal with it. You know what to do, I've told you what to do. You hold the ball and that's it, you sort it out. Not the best of passes that was over there. Probably used the wrong foot, I can't, I don't remember what happened there. I was probably too busy speaking, but face the play. And oh yeah, by the way, when I record tutorials, of course, um, I'm going to be making mistakes. I'm speaking live at the same time, trying to explain what I'm doing before I do it. So I know some people write in a conversation, oh, you're making mistakes. Well, what do you think? I'm not going to play a perfect game, of course, while I'm talking and trying to explain. So what I'm doing over here is I'm just waiting for an opportunity. I've only got one striker there and I've got no cam. So that's why I'm being a bit um, deliberate in the way that I'm playing. I'm just waiting for an opportunity. Okay. Jog in now. You see, I've got to be smart because this is also a situation where I need to find one there. Okay, so I'm not the best of passes. Using less dribbling just to give him my way, you see that? Not the best of passes again. Corne, not the best of improvisations I've seen him. He's actually not a bad... Oh, oh, wasn't paying attention now. It's a penalty. I think, I don't even know. Let's break the lineup. We're gonna move our cam. So what he's doing is he's moving. Okay, we got that ball. So we did. Okay, that's not good. Okay. Thank you very much for that, goalkeeper Edison. Edison, I swear. I swear, all goalkeepers in this game are just either s just super or they're just trash. You know what I mean? Oh no, I remember he's going to do the corner glitch, isn't he? Okay. Not gonna panic. L1 trigger. Now, hug the sidelines used to exist. It doesn't exist anymore. So we're going to wait for Salah to go back inwards again. And then we're going to pass the ball out again. That way we have that extra second. See that extra second to make a decision? Okay. Take a touch. Face the player. Take a touch. Face the player. Take a touch. Face the player. Take a touch. Away. Face the player. Take a touch. No one with me. So I'm doing L1 trigger. Quick one, two down the wing. Into the middle. Take a touch. We see a uh, probably a risky pass, but we're going to make it. Ah, okay. We tried to do a one, two around. So we're getting pressed. This is the problem is we're getting out number. This guy's not, not the not for example a weaker player. So I got to be a bit more smart about what I do. So whereas someone would say be very very aggressive, we're going to try to be smart. Okay, so again, same thing. And it's important to show you these games because I don't f I don't float through all these games easy as you think. You can see with, with a red card against someone who actually knows what they're doing, not really running out with their centre-backs, it is a game of chess. You have to wait for the opening. Now, of course, you guys know I don't abuse skill moves, but of course, if, if you wanted to abuse skill moves, you can go ahead and do so. Corner at centre-back, uh, CDM is actually not a bad player. It's just mainly his passing, which is a bit problematic. Oh my god, how can he make that save? That's why, 
That's why I say finishing inside the box is broken. If I did any more power there, the shot would have gone over. How do I know that? Because I've taken the shot with that player so many times. Any more power and it would have gone over. There shouldn't be a need to green time that shot there. Now that is Walker, that's my centre back, so got to be very careful. That's my left back, got to be very, very careful. Come on, son, you got to finish this. Ah, oh, you're offside. Second too late. So you see how I'm trying to make it like I'm... Oh, Corne, perfect. Unlucky. That's a centre mid out of position there. Apply a bit of pressure, not show too much. Nice dribbling for my opponent here. I'm pushing him down. I'm letting him go, basically. Good tight, I call. Penalties, it looks like we're probably going to be settling for. We're going to try to get the final opportunity. Again, we're in panic mode. So if you're really not sure, L1 trigger, and then we're doing L1 triangle. It should be Mane. So it should be Mane, from my understanding. It's not. It's Kim base. It was a bit further back than I thought. It should have been a driven lob through ball. That should have been. But I didn't want to lose the ball. Oh, he took a touch. See, he got very lucky there. You see that pass? How he's facing away. Oh no, what was that? Well, I defended that well. I don't know how the... Oh my god, what has, what's happened over here? So we've got to defend the angle towards goal. You see how the game just messes up there? We've got to defend the angle towards goal. Make sure we guarantee that. Now, we're going to push everyone forward with the L1 button. I'm literally I'm pushing the guy behind me forward. You have got to be joking. It did the incorrect ball roll and then it, it made a stupid pass. That was not my fault, but that's the game as part of it, you know. Maybe I should have taken another touch there. Let's go into the middle, I think. Interesting. So he's actually gone the way that he's looking. Interesting game. He's going to go down the middle now. He has. Oh, close. This check has saved him a lot. Down the middle now. Oh my god, that was unlucky. Now, I'm going to move left and right and then go down the middle. I guess when he'll do it. There we go. That one could, he got that one. Now he knows I've gone to the right and he knows I've not gone right yet, so I'm gonna go back to the right and then go left again. Oh, it wasn't the best of penalties that was for me. It was Quadrado though. Bottom left, I think. Oh. Okay, I have to score this one. Have to make it green. He knows I've not been right yet. I think he's gonna go bottom left. Ah, uh, this is just this is just lottery now, you know. stayed lottery what can you do but anyway that's an example lottery pens you lose it but you see we guaranteed the safety in that one anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching take it easy of course i'll catch you next time